Well, I'm delighted to say that we're joined now by Paul O'Brien from the Association of Public Service Excellence. Uh, great to meet you. Thank you very much indeed for coming in. Uh, this is a new relationship with ITN Productions, isn't it? What are you hoping to gain uh, in the months and the year ahead? Well, it's very exciting for us in APSI to be working with ITN Productions on, on this programme. What we really want to highlight from this is the vital role that local services play uh, for local communities, um, local government out there working on behalf of local people, delivering local solutions. What would you say then are, are your main challenges ahead? Because um, you have quite a big um, portfolio, don't you, really? Obviously, the, the overriding issue is local government finance at present. We're all aware of the cuts that have taken place over the last number of years. Uh, austerity is a word that people are very familiar with now. So that's the overriding issue. However, we do have lots of public policy issues that local government have got to tackle on behalf of local communities because there's no one else really who can do that. And I guess as part of that, housing is a massive issue for you. Well, Natasha, housing need is one of those huge public policy issues of our time. And I think um, local government is best placed to deliver effective solutions on housing, be that affordable social housing or rented, private rented housing or new built housing. It's going to really be for local government to come up with solutions and deliver for local communities. Mm. Uh, it's a bit of a double-edged sword, the position that you occupy at the moment, isn't it? With local governments being given much more power, essentially to look after their own budgets and finances, and then at the same time, power being taken away from you. It's a bit of a poison chalice, would you say? I think for, for local government, you know, the freedoms that they've been given are, are welcome. The responsibility that's been localised is also welcome. The, the concern is that the power and responsibilities have been given without ne the necessary financial clout uh, to deliver it. Indeed, there's much less money about now to deliver the same, if not more, services uh, than ever. Would you say that's a very frustrating position then, because essentially you've got to balance your own books and, and possibly rely on some relationships in the business community that you wouldn't necessarily want to, to push back on? It's, it's frustrating in some senses. Uh, however, it's exciting also that those responsibilities have been, have been given to, to local government. And we've got to look for solutions to all of the challenges that are ahead. And, and absolutely we try to help local authorities do that. I think it's going to be become increasingly important to work with uh, local businesses. Uh, there's lots of local government finance that's going to be uh, given back to a local level, business rates in particular, and I think that will bring with it a much uh, greater need to work with the local business community uh, to support them in delivering growth at a local level, but also for local government to reap the benefits from that local growth as well. So you say it's potentially an exciting relationship, and I can see that, but there must be elements where you're relying on a business community um, in a way that you wouldn't necessarily have, have wanted to. Yeah, I mean, obviously there's a need to be even-handed about this as well. Uh, sometimes business need and the local community needs don't meet. Um, and I think local governments, that's, that's why they're there, to take some of those hard decisions that nobody else really wants to take. You know, um, what do you do in terms of a, a local environmental need when it doesn't meet with what business, local business wants? Local government's got to take those tough decisions and uh, balance those decisions off against what's, what's the most important for the local community. I can completely see that and that's the broad picture isn't it? Could mm. you give us a couple of examples um, where local governments are really working effectively? Um, there's, there's, there's a lot of examples where local government are now working quite hard to generate um, additional income at a local level to offset the cuts that have came their way. Uh, for example, uh, Nottingham City Council um, have, um, have raised something like £90 million pounds of income at the local level uh, to pay for the services that they deliver in the local area. Another example from Nottingham City as well is Robin Hood Energy, which is a, a, an energy company set up by a local government, owned by a local government, to deliver for the local community in order to tackle fuel poverty uh, and reduce the, the, the cost of, uh, of energy at a local level. Other examples would be East Riding of Yorkshire Council have looked at public health as a big public policy issue and they're working with uh, the local NHS uh, to actually deliver effective uh, solutions there. Seven Oaks Council uh, are working in developing uh, 
mixed retail uh, and residential uh, offerings that they can put in place at a local level but also make a revenue return from that as well. So there's lots of examples of local government working at a local level with lo the local community and local business to, to deliver on this challenge that we all face that austerity has placed upon us. Given all that you've talked about, um, I guess the most important thing is that it's not a one solution fits all. Everything has to be kind of bespoke. Ab absolutely. And whilst as an organisation, APSI can look at uh, identifying best practice and giving those solutions uh, out there to, to everyone in local co government to have a look at, at the same time, it's very different in Aberdeen from how it is necessarily in West Oxford or, or from Derry um, to uh, Derby. You know, very, very different solutions are required in different areas. We will look at the data and we will try and tell uh, local authorities what is likely to work in their area. However, they do need to examine that evidence for themselves and come up with local solutions. Well, Paul, we certainly look forward to exploring some of what you've highlighted over the months ahead. And thank you very much indeed again for coming to highlight the issues that you work with. Thanks very much, Natasha. Thank you. Thank you.